Hello MechWarriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of MechWarrior Online. Today we are playing the Cicada because some of you requested after my last Cicada video that I should play the X5 a bit more. X5 is the hero Cicada and it's a very unique one because it's the only Cicada that can run missiles and that's what we are doing today. Now we use it, use it as a mid to close range skirmisher. We have two SRM4, we have uh, four medium lasers, we have three tons of ammo, XL300, four double heat sinks so that we can be super active with that and that's what we do so yeah it's a very straightforward build right so we have short range bursts we have some medium lasers we even have arm actuators that we can use to shoot down uavs and there's nothing more to say about that the cicada is a very nice mech i like it i mean look at look at this guys G give me a very quick give me a very quick moment to to talk about the cicada isn't that a beauty it just looks so straightforward it's just a, a box on legs and you have the arms that are basically just shield pads that shield your side torso from being destroyed um you you have this 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 beautiful fast running thing great hitboxes you can splash the incoming damage over all of your components center and side torso and the arms it's beautiful i like it now as for the skills we have invested into firepower a lot as you can see now of course, the missile nodes will help shooting the SRM4s more effectively and um, the laser nodes to, you know, get the, the damage on point while we are moving. When, you know, moving and shooting, scooting and shooting, that's what we do here. So we stay active, we stay mobile and we shoot on the run mostly. And therefore, again, the laser duration really helps um, because it makes the laser burn you know, not that long anymore. And that means that we can, um, you know, apply, apply the damage to a single component more easily. Uh, as I was saying, cooldown mostly and, and um, you know, firepower mostly because I want to be extremely active with that and um, deal damage a lot. Now, as you can see, I have invested into the skeletal density mostly, and that's because the Cicada X5 has a lot of structure quirks that we want to amplify with the skills here. So we just get a raw amount of HP out of it if we do that. Of course, armor hardening would be in general better because it's your first layer of defense. I mean, relying on structure completely makes it so that um, as soon as the armor is gone, you are susceptible to crits and then your weapons could be destroyed and then you won't be as effective anymore. However, it's just so good having the structure here. It just keeps you on the battlefield longer and um, you can do some nice hit and run shin and against even in the late game. No mobility here, although it seems counterintuitive not taking it. I think it's enough speed that we have already from the 300 rated engine. It brings us to 121 kph. If you like, you could of course go for speed tweak. As uh, you can see, I had that unlocked at some point, but I figured uh, for my gameplay, for my style, it is better to have the enhanced um, structure here. Now, uh, no jump jets, sadly, uh, but we have operation skilled out with the, with the cool run maxed. And uh, as you can see, we are running speed retention here. I don't think that the gyros are doing so much for us. And therefore, uh, I was going for speed retention when I had the opportunity to. I, of course, value hill climb more than the speed retention here. It's very important. Now, uh, rated deprivation, because again, we are a skirmisher. We do a lot of hit and run. And therefore, when we are running, we want to break line of sight and locks. That's important. And we are running double artillery on a cool shot. On top of a cool shot. And that's the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. And if you have that, as always, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing HPG Manifold. We are playing, um, yeah, at a skirmish, which is a bit difficult. Um, maybe this guy is, you know, not fast enough and uh, or slow enough to actually get a good shot on him. So... I'm not engaging yet. Uh, let's wait for the meta to be in the open so that we have LRM support. So I have hard lock on Bravo, boys. Hard lock on Bravo. Um, yeah, we got LRM, so somebody stated that before. And now I'm gonna go in. Hi, dude. Oh, they have LRMs themselves. And rocks. Okay. Hi. Hi. Oh, I'm not here. Okay, let's do it again. I wish I had a UAV now, but my team is closing in a Delta 5, Delta 6, that is really good. I'm gonna go for heat vision here and I think I'm gonna push through. It's very important. Yes, that's what we do. So the mad dog is kind of on the side still, left of me. But I want to engage the Rotary 5 Rifleman, the legend killer there. No, it's a 3C, never mind. Uh, that's okay, so we can, we can go for him. It's not a big deal. We should be able to... Okay, so we get some damage in. We can disarm him. That's the very least we can do. I think his arm is crit already. Hi. Ah, all right. Ah, I'm a little bit hot. Now the Locust is coming in. Great distraction. That is super good. I'm gonna make sure that you follow up on such an opportunity. 
when you get there. Nice job. Now we got a rifleman down. I'm sorry. Sorry, Lina. Liner? Uh, seems bad, man. Okay, I dropped artillery. I popped my cool shot. And uh, my escape path is the left side here, which we definitely use. Yep. We drop here. So planning ahead a bit, just to make sure that I'm, uh, again, not taking too much return fire. Going for the catapult hotel. Going for the Phoenix Hawk. Phoenix Hawk legs. Actually, it's it's running and... Uh oh Okay, guys, we have a lot of enemies in the basement. You can push top if you want. I believe. Okay, gotta go. Let's try to dodge the fire. Um, help out with the Phoenix Hawk here. You will not go anywhere, buddy. Hello? Ah, uh, this guy again. Can we focus on the guy that is damaged? I'm not going for the Timberwolf just because he's closer. I want to kill this guy or at least help. Dude, I'm a friend. Be careful. Also, the Timber is very damaged. Let's take him. All right. So it's four and one. Is it looking great already? Oh my god, yes. Yes, please. Enemies on the left. Let's go. Oh my god. I, I still have an artillery strike that I might want to use later. I don't know. We harass this guy here. That's what we do. Uh, it's running LRMs mostly. Only has two medium lasers. So we can... We can definitely, definitely just brawl with him here. There's one guy behind me. That's a problem. Um... Hmm. Hmm. Where to go? I'm kind of alone here. Mad dog. Ah, damn it. Too much LRMs. Too many of them. Okay, we're gonna peek here. That side also needs to go. If we have that, it should be a walk in the park. Catapult is down. Can we push Delta 5, please? There's a Kodiak. Oh my god. What's he doing? Ultras. Oh, I'm scared. I am legitimately scared here. Kill the Kodiak, please. Foxtrot. Foxtrot, please. Almost down. Okay, so we are cold. We can definitely... What was that? Okay. Uh, I thought I lagged a bit. Okay, that's one side. Oh my god. The Ultras are still standing strong. Let me get the... the crits on them all right got him nine and seven ah this is not over yet guys is he dead please be dead okay we're just gonna hug him because um clan lrms deal damage at minimum range let's get him and the thing is the, the damage will still drop to almost zero it is a little bit of damage but it's basically nothing he's on top I'm um, I'm going for the light mech. You can deal with the annihilator. It's fine. Let me hunt him down. Target, it's a kid fox. Uh, kid fox with L open leg. Yeah, uh, All right, let's see what he can do. So he is lagged. Ah, oh, crap! I screwed that up. I screwed it up big time. So how we got one of those? Hello? Oh my god, the heat! Am I going for it? Let's go for it, guys. Not the right one. Somebody else got it, though. <laughs> Alright! Yeah, I was confused with the legs. Left, right, right, left. It happens. Okay! That was a good round, guys. That was really nice. Nice skirmish here. I loved playing that. We what? Dealt 1192 damage? Okay, I'll take it. So we got three killing blows, six assists, five kilomers damage dealt, and uh, that amount of damage with eight components destroyed. That is the first round, everybody. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right, the second game of the day. We are playing HPG Manifold, and this game is gonna be very interesting. Look at our lands. Commando, Commando, Panther, Piranha, Cicada, Nova, Arctic Wolf, Cicada, uh, uh, Linebacker, Catapult. We are, we are very light, guys. Extremely light. That, needs, uh, that means that we need to make use of our mobility that we have. So, um, some of us are scouting. Top, bottom, as everything is covered here. What do we do? Oh, yeah, this guy is getting shot. That's what we do, basically. Uh, it seems that they have... No, that, that oh, lanner there? Oh, no, I think it's a war was it a black lanner? I think it was a black lanner. Um, it's also a very light mech. Comparatively. Comparatively. Can I shoot through here? Hello? Okay. Yeah, people are, are very talkative today. That's okay. It's okay. Uh, it's an urban mech. Urban mech is not a good target to go up against. 
It's too uh, too sturdy. Way too sturdy. Oh, I'm on Echo. Echo, Echo. Let's get that guy. Alright, I'm, I'm trying to get some confusion online here. Ouch, that's not good. That guy is running auto cannons. Uh huh. Hello. Just passing through. Thank you. So, again, we need more confusion. Guys, more mobility, more active gameplay. Firing line is not good for us. Yeah, that's right. Nice, we got a kill. That's super important. My mech is my mech is so damaged already. I tried to backstep them. Crap. I found somebody. Actually, he's separated from his team. He seems to run LRMs. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. I saw this guy earlier. Yep, yeah, that's it. It's pulse lasers. Pulse lasers and missiles. Two kills, though. Oh, I need to regroup. I need more mechs around me. I cannot do anything on my own here. Hey, Nova. How are you doing? Oh, what am I doing here? Like, what what am I doing, seriously? Oh, actually, I'm shooting him. Why am I... I mean, the reason why I'm so upset about myself is that... Usually, again, the, the rule of proximity would kick in now and that Nova would shoot me as the main target. Because I'm just the closest mech. That's what people do. They see somebody coming in, they instantly change target to that guy. I don't know why. It's just... A thing? Oh. Oh, there he is. Okay. Uh, a thing that, that just people do naturally. I'm gonna take the Nova in the basement. Don't follow me. I can handle it. So, that's the worst thing that could happen now. A lot of people going for a single target that only needs one mech to kill it. Technically. Okay. Wait, how? And... Ah! Da, okay. I mean, not, not saying that, that I try to... Um, you know, get it, get it alone, but I could handle it, and I wanted my team to do something on top. Now we are, I mean, yeah, we are squirreling that guy, we are zerging it down. That's fine. That's actually working. But we need to get on top quickly again, because the big guys are in some distress there. Um, where to? Over here? That's another Cicada, he's running PPCs. Uh, one of our guys uh, overheated himself. That's not good. It's five and four, and I'm dispatched from my teammates again. That's not good. Ah, uh, guys, I try to help. Give me some enemies. Oh, there's one. It's the urban mech. No, it's a cicada. Let's go for the... Yeah, it's a cicada, actually. Um, want to help out here. Squishy targets first. It's so super important to focus. In a match where you are behind in tonnage, which is basically what we are here. Uh-oh. Give me that side. Oh, not good. And I need to drop. I need to go. They will follow me, so... Let's try to regroup. I got a lot of mechs on my tail in Delta 5, guys. You guys in Delta 4, can you help? Delta 4? Two light mechs behind me. Delta 4? I, I have to run. I cannot I cannot outfight them. I need to outrun them here. 6 and 6. Again, regrouping, staying within the pack. It's extremely important. Legs on the cicada, Kilo. Got him. And the other leg. Oh, he lagged me as well. Give it to me! There's the kill. Is it gonna be enough though? I, I don't know. Ah, they got me. Again, fighting against the odds here, but we tried. Let's see if the game goes down in our favor. It's 7 and 8 and it might be that we still win. Can, uh, uh, I don't know. The Osiris is almost lagged. Also almost uh, scored. Yeah, I give him hell. He lost an arm. Or even a side torso, which is great. Go for the the, the Warhawk. Warhawk, Warhawk. Try to ignore the urban mech. The Osiris is a good target. The Warhawk is a good target. Focus, guys. Get the kills. Super important. Not the urban mech. Oh, wait. It was a fire starter? Urban mech? I couldn't see. I just saw a back of a mech. But he got a kill, which is good, I guess. Not a good target, guys. Prioritize your targets. Get the ones that are the most damaged when you are behind to level the field. Don't try to get for the, get for the guys that are... Uh, go for the guys that are just the closest. Or that are just there. Disengage if you are a light mech. Find yourself a better target. That's okay though. It's okay. Knock him. No. <laughs> Urby. That urban mech was lasting until the very, very end. Alright. GG guys. It was fun to play though. It was very stressful. But it was, it was a nice challenge. All right. Let's have a look at the end score. Again, we were super light and I have a feeling, or I had a feeling, that we didn't really play to our strength here. In the mid-game, yes, but in the very end, you know, the team fell apart and we couldn't really focus anymore and go on separated targets with the Wolfpack. 
Um, anyhow, we got two killing blows nonetheless, four kill assists. We got two kill most damage dealt, 687 damage, and four components destroyed. And that was our team. Enemy team was also very light. Yeah, 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 look at that. I think Matchmaker did a good job here in terms of balancing the, balancing the weight. But it wasn't enough this time. Anyhow, that was your daily dose for today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to get some nice stuff and uh, help out the channel a bit with supporting, go down below to the description. There is the link to my Patreon page. You can get something like monthly postcards if you like. And I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.